Hello, you all some fourth graders. We're going to work on um, looking at great details and facts in a really interesting story. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open up your fourth grade folder in your drive. So go to your drive, go to your fourth grade folder, and then go new and do a Google Doc. Okay, this Google Doc we're going to call Bats because that's the article we're going to read about. Okay, so when it opens up, the untitled, if you click on the title, And I'm going to highlight it. Normally it turns blue. There we go. I'm going to call it bats. Okay. Now some formatting that, oh, okay, it's not going to click for me. Bats is what we're going to call it. Okay. I'm going to click down here now. Um, some formatting we're going to do, I'm going to move my screen over a little bit. Um, we're going to put a title on it. I want you to use either Arial or Comic Sans, and I kind of like using Comic Sans. Change it to 12. You're going to bold, italicize, and underline, and center it. We're going to call it bats, and a title is always capitalized. Okay, so then I'm going to enter twice, and I have to undo all of what I did. Notice that they're blue because I clicked on them. I'm going to do back to center align. It jumps back over to the left. I'm going to undo the underline, undo the italicize. The cursor becomes straight again. Undo the bold. Okay, and that sets me up and ready to go. Now I'm going to change this font just a little bit bigger to 150, so, well, no, not that big. You can see it, 125, so that you can kind of see it a little bit better, okay? I just find that sometimes my vision is a little off. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to open up another tab. I'm going to go up here, open up another tab. I want you to go to www.getepic.com. It's a free reading program with lots and lots of books in there. Um, there's um, fiction and nonfiction. There's how-to books. There's um, um, making books. There's um, wonderful, wonderful story books in there, and you're going to really enjoy it. The catch is um, the program only allows, because we're, we do it through school, to be used during school hours. So in order to do this assignment, you have to do it during school hours. You can't do it in the evening because Get Epic will not let you in. Okay, the only way it will let you in is if your mom and dad decide to purchase a con, um, a, not a contract, but you know, an account with them. And I don't advise that because everything we do is totally free, and that's all we need it for. So go ahead and do getepic.com, and then what you're going to do because I've already signed us up through Google Classroom, I'm going to go over here because it's going to log in. Give it just a minute to do that. I'm going to go to my account. Actually, yours will say login and then login with Google. Okay, so I'm going to go to my account because I'm the teacher. Mine's going to look a lot different than yours. Okay, and I'm going to open up the story called Bats. You're going to go into um, um, login, sign in with Google, and then you're going to go to there. You have a mailbox up here, so you're going to go to the mailbox. Okay, I have to go to. Excuse me, my assignments. Okay, my cursor is just uh, going crazy right now. Assignments. And we're going to open up bats. So in your mailbox, you're going to find the story about bats. And um, I need to go back to the beginning of this book. And to work your way through this wonderful, wonderful thing, I'm going to go back to the beginning. Um, this has some really wonderful features about it. If you're reading and you find a book you like, you're going to click the heart, and that heart will become red because it's a favorite, and it will add it to your, your library. Okay? And then also, here, to turn the page, I just go to click that way. If I click on a word, it's going to say it for me. And it gives you the definition. So if you need to understand a word, it can do that. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go, what is a bat? This is the basic facts about bats. I sleep by day, I fly by night. I have no feathers to aid my flight. What am I? Kind of a joke, but it says I am a bat. A bat is a mammal. Mammals are made, are, are, I'm sorry, are animals that nurse their young, have hair, and are warm-blooded. Human dogs and whales are all mammals, but bats have a special ability. They can fly. So what I'm gonna do is, from this paragraph, 
my goal is to find one or two important details that I can write down that's going to um, retell the story. Not like, you know, um, that is the answer. That doesn't retell the story. That's the answer to the joke or the riddle of above. So I think, you know, that a bat is a mammal and that it flies are two good things. You can define what a mammal is if you want to add that information in. So I'm going to go back to my details and I'm going to, I'm going to entitle my first topic, um, bat facts. Okay. I'm going to enter after it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to underline it so they stand out. Now I can go and I can use one of my bulleted points or my numbered bulleted list. I'm going to do numbers and I like to choose, go over here. I usually choose this one. I kind of like the one with the little, you know, half circle around them. Okay. And so now I have a numbered fact. The first fact is that they are a mammal. I'm going to say they are a mammal. The second thing is they fly. They fly. Notice when I press enter, I get another number. And I'm only taking two facts from that one. So I'm going to enter twice and it gets rid of that. Enter one more time and I'm ready for my next section. So let's go back to our, our story and let's keep going. Now we're going to talk about bat food. There are about 1,200 types of bats in the world. Most of them eat insects. Insect eating bats are usually small in size. There are more than 150 types of fruit bats. These bats are usually larger and search for sweet fruits and other plants. Well, we know that they eat two things, either insects or fruit. So let's go back to our story, and this is their food. I'm going to type it in. I'm going to go down. Again, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to underline. I can control you also underlines it as well. I'm going to go to my numbering, and I'm going to choose my numbering again. And I'm going to choose my numbering and I'm going to, I, now the basic fact is that they eat insects, eat insects. And the second one is they eat fruit. Notice they don't drink blood because <laughs> I know that makes for good movies, doesn't it? So then, but there was also another fact in there that the insect ones are small and the fruit bats are a little bit larger. So I'm going to put that in there, eat insects and I'm going to, Put an enter and if I tab it puts an indent in there and these are smaller and then see with the fruit bat if I enter and tab it goes small that and these are larger now let's see if we're done with what they eat let's turn the page and ooh, there's a, another page on food a few bats hunt for larger prey such as frogs birds or mice Ah, so there is some that eat little critters. So we got to add that in there too. So I'm going to do, I'm going to enter and watch what happens when I'm going to do. See, I'm at a B up here. These are these indents. I'm going to decrease my indent and I'm going to go back down and you'll see that I automatically got a number three again. They eat small animals. And I'm going to put an example, and it was, what did they say? They said it was like mice, and what else was it? Mice, frogs, or birds. Ugh. Mice, frogs, or birds. And there's another comma after that when you give a list. You always do that before the conjunction. Now, let's see what else there's about the food. Some people think all bats suck your blood. This is not true. Only three kind of bats drink blood. This group is known as vampire bats. They mostly feed on the blood of animals like cows and deer, not humans. Oh, so there are some that drink blood. Okay, so I'm going to do enter and remember that indent up here. I'm going to hit it and watch what happens. Whoa, I'm going to show you what you want to hit again. So you got it. I hit this one the decrease indent that increases that will jump me back the other way so the next thing is drink blood Oop, not block blood and these are of cows and what else was it cows and deer not humans cows and deer so now we know about their food and I think I can enter twice and get rid of that because I think we're done with food. Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> we are. Now we're on night flight. 
Did you know that while you are fast asleep, bats are busy filling their bellies? Bats are nocturnal, meaning they're active at night. This way of life has many advantages for a bat. Insect-eating bats often feast on bugs that come out after dark. Pollen and nectar-eating bats might feed on plants that only open at night. Nectar is a sweet liquid made by flowers. Interesting. So, night flight. I can call this night flight, so let's do that because that's what the book calls it. That's what the story calls it. Night flight. Oop, not flight. 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 I'm going to go back. I'm going to highlight. Control B. Are we bolding it? No, we're just underlining it. Control U underlines. I'm going to go and get my numbering. There we go. So they are nocturnal, it said. And what else did it say about it at nighttime? Uh, not meaning they're active at night. This way life has many advantages. Insect eating. Uh, um, okay. They eat everything at night. That that kind of describes everything. And if you want to add a detail about how the, in, the insects that are out at night and flowers that open at night, you can do that. So I'm going to do that. So they're nocturnal. So I'm going to tab, eat, night, insects like mosquitoes and they eat flowers or eat from flowers that open at night and i oh it fixed it for me flowers let's go back to our story let's turn the page oops oh, sorry <laughs> now we're going to talk about their bodies and i believe there's two pages of that so we're going to talk about their bodies next. So I'm going to enter twice. Oh, a third time to get rid of that. And one more. So I'm going to do bodies. Enter. Now, highlight. Make it underlined. Go back. Get your bullet point. And let's find out about their bodies. Scientists call bats. Um, it's Chiroptera, a Greek name that means hand wing. That's because bats have four wings. Not four wings, four fingers and a thumb, just like us. A thin layer of skin connects the fingers. This forms a wing. Bats also have a sensitive nose and big ears. Their big ears help some bats see, see with sound. So we know they have a wing. They have a wing, just one wing. They have a wing. They have a sensitive nose and a big ears. So let's do, they have a one wing. Sensitive nose. And what was the other thing? <gasps> Big ears. Okay. Notice here's the coat of fur, and it tells all the other different pieces of their body there. Turn the page. In the pitch black night, bats can scoop up a tiny insect with ease. No flashlight required. How do they do it? They make a sound that travels until it hits an object. Then it bounces off the object and travels back to the bat. From this echo, the bat can tell an object's size and how far away it is. This is called echo echolocation is what it's called. So I'm going to put that big word down. But we need to define it so that I remember what it means. They also have echolocation. And it's not... I think that's spelled right. Echolocation. I think so. It doesn't like that word, but that's good. Echolocation. That's where they... Oh, what is that? I'm going to go back to the story. Oh, let's see. That's... um. They make a sound. It bounces off the odd bat. That's it. That's what it is. They make a sound. It bounces off the object or animal or animal. And bounces back. That's echolocation. Let's find out if there's something else. Let's turn the page. Nope, now it's about their face. Well, that's part of their body, too, so I think we could include that in. Some bats have strange-looking faces. 
Special ears, noses, and mouths help bats tune into and make sounds while they use echolocation. Their faces may look odd to us, but for bats, their features work perfectly. Well, that's nothing really different, but look at that guy. He looks like a, like a pig almost. And Actually, this one looks like has a pig nose, and this one has that. Look at those big, round ears. Look at this guy with his huge ears. And look at those teeth on him. And then this is, they call this guy a big-eared bat, and I don't know, that's kind of crazy, too. I think they, these two have huge ears. Let's turn that page. Now it talks about hanging out. When bats are not hunting for food, they're usually hiding in a roost. Roosts can be caves, treetops, or attics. Bats pick places that are well hidden and protect them from bad weather. When most bats rest in their roost, they hang upside down. Oh. So, well, let's not turn the page too fast. So we're going to call it hanging out, because that's what they call it. So I'm going to backspace, backspace, and then enter. And we're going to call it hanging out. Enter. Highlight this. And underline it. Give me some bullet numbered bullet points. And what I'm going to do from here on out is, if you look, there's hanging out. Then there is baby bats. And there's bat rescue. And then there's nature's helpers. And then myths and Hall of Fame. And you don't have to do the myths of the Hall, the myths of the Hall of Fame. Those you don't have to do. But... You do need to do Nature's Helpers, Bat Rescue, and Baby Bats. So I'm going to do that for hanging out, and then I'm going to enter, and then you also have to do, after hanging out, you're going to need to do Baby Bats. After baby bats, you're going to need to do bat rescue and the nature's helpers. Bat rescue, nature, helpers. And I think that's it. Nature's helpers. Yep, because then it's the myths. You can do the myths if you like, but you don't have to. Okay? So your job is to do these last four. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to underline it, and underline this one, underline this one, and I'm going to put my little numbering underneath this one so it's ready to go. Put that and do my numbering. It's ready to go. And this, oops, I haven't entered yet. And do my numbering. It's ready to go. There. So your job is to do the last four. When you're done, you're going to need to turn it in to Google Classroom. Okay? When you go to Google Classroom, I will have, I, I will do another video on how to do that. Okay? Because that's something that's very big. But your job is to take care of this. This is what we're doing for Tuesday. Monday, we read the story. Tuesday, we're going to start this. And Wednesday, we're going to finish it up. And then Thursday, we're going to, um, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at my lesson plans, but Thursday we're going to do something else with it. So I'll be posting another video, but this is for Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay? Have a great afternoon and a great day.